How to Write the Research Rationale Step-by-Step -step Guide for Beginners What is Research Rational? The rationale for one's research is the justification for undertaking a given study. The research rational states the reasons why a researcher chooses to focus on the topic in question, including what the significance is and what gaps the research intends to fill. The rationale is typically followed by a hypothesis or research questions and the study objectives. The rationale of your research is the reason for conducting the study. The rationale should answer the need for conducting the said research. It is a very important part of your publication as it justifies the significance and novelty of the study. That is why it is also referred to as the justification of the study because it is an explanation that rationalizes the need for the study. When is the rationale for research written? The rationale of a study can be presented both before and after the research is conducted. Before. The rationale is a crucial part of your research proposal, representing the plan of your work as formulated before you execute your study. After. Once the study is completed, the rationale is presented in a research paper or dissertation to explain why you focused on the particular question. In this instance, you would link the rationale of your research project to the study aims and outcomes. Basis for writing the research rationale. The study rationale is predominantly based on preliminary data. A literature review will help you identify gaps in the current knowledge base and also ensure that you avoid duplicating what has already been done. You can then formulate the justification for your study from the existing literature on the subject and the perceived outcomes of the proposed study. Length of the research rationale. In a research proposal or research article, the rationale would not take up more than a few sentences. A thesis or dissertation would allow for a longer description, which could even run into a couple of paragraphs. The length might even depend on the field of study or nature of the experiment. For instance, a completely novel or unconventional approach might warrant a longer and more detailed justification. Basic elements of the research rationale. Every research rationale should include some mention or discussion of the following. An overview of your conclusions from your literature review gaps in current knowledge, inconclusive or controversial findings from previous studies, the need to build on previous research, for example, unanswered questions, the need to update concepts in light of new findings and or new technical advancements. Example of a research rationale. Note, this uses a fictional study. ABC is a newly identified microalgal species isolated from fish tanks. While ABC, algal blooms have been seen as a threat to pisciculture, some studies have hinted at their unusually high carotenoid content and unique carotenoid profile. Carotenoid profiling has been carried out only in a handful of microalgal species from this genus, and the search for microalgae rich in bioactive carotenoids has not yielded promising candidates so far. This in-depth examination of the carotenoid profile of ABC will help identify and quantify novel and potentially useful carotenoids from an untapped aquaculture resource. Conclusion it is important to describe the rationale of your research in order to put the significance and novelty of your specific research project into perspective. Once you have successfully articulated the reasons for your research, you will have convinced readers of the importance of your work. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.